Gold Explosion Station on this Saturday, November the 2nd, Sanctified Saturday. And we got the man, Pastor Mark Barron, with Christ in Action. Hey, good morning, Pastor. Oh, good morning, sir. How you doing this morning? Well, it's a good-looking Saturday morning. Yes, it is a Sabbath, Sanctified Saturday. It's a spectacular Saturday. <laughs> the more <tomorrow, laughs> that this time, Pastor, we man, hey, it, it's going to be all the way live. Yes, indeed. We will fall back and we'll have daylight. That's right, but as you always know, we always fall forward. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we have to. Hey, but I know you got a word today. You got a word, Pastor. So I'm going to step out of the way. We're going to see what you have to say. Right, indeed, delighted to be sharing that good news this morning as we do every single morning. And the heart of that message is the mystery that was hidden from the ages, but now is revealed to all of those who embrace the sanctifying, setting apart work of the Lord Jesus Christ and his body and blood. And it is this, Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's what the Apostle Paul shared in Colossians chapter 1, verses 26 to 28. He wanted them to know the, what his assignment was and his diligence in sharing and why he was sharing and what it was he was sharing. And he went on to say that um, it is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And he says, whom we preach. Uh, that we might present every man, every woman, every person in all wisdom, that we might present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. You know, that uh, when he says we preach this, that we might present every man perfect, what he's saying, every man mature, complete, whole, conform to the image of Jesus Christ in every way. You see, friend, the great joy of this message of Jesus Christ is not only that he came to save us from our sins, but to put us in right standing with God and to return us to God's original design and standing for us to be conformed to his own image and his own likeness. You see, friend, I know that we've heard this and we're aware of it and we can repeat it, but is it a guiding principle? Does it guide us? Does it influence your thinking? Does it shape what you have to say? Does it shape your behavior? You see, friend, the power of God's word and why he said he preached that he might present every person, every man, perfect, mature, complete in Christ. It is because that is in Christ that we are made mature. We are made complete. Jesus taught this in St. John 15, verse 5. He says, I am the vine. You are the branches. Without me, you can do nothing. You know, friend, that's not an invitation to slothfulness or laziness or inactivity, but rather it is an invitation to rest and trust, dependence and reliance upon him such that he then is able to do all that he wills in and through your life, starting first and foremost with conforming you to his own image and likeness. We've shared this often on the broadcast, Romans chapter eight, verse 29, it says, those whom God did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his own son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Now here's the thing, oftentimes we think of this 
in our religious and church informed teaching and what we have heard before that this means going to heaven one day and one day I'll look like Jesus when I get to heaven. Well, no, Jesus's idea and concept was in St. John 14, uh, verse 12, he says, whoever believes on me, the same things that I do, he or she are going to do those same things also. But you know what, friend? He's authorized and appointed us and declared this over us. When he spoke this, he spoke it over us and declaring it. It was his prophetic word consoling to those who believe in him. And so your belief in him authorizes and appoints you to be conformed to his image and likeness and to do the things that he did, to walk as he walked, know as he knows, and to help us in this. He says, I'm not going to leave you orphans. I'm going to send you another comforter. I'm going to send the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. I'm going to send him to you so that he will empower you. He will cause you when he comes on you to be my witnesses, witnesses of my life and resurrection and the words that I declare, to walk them out, to exhibit them, to display them. Friend, we must not be satisfied with the pie in the sky, sweet by and by revelation of Jesus Christ. But we must embrace one that affects our everyday lives now knowing that we have hope and we have promises both in this life and in eternity, that what Christ has done and the benefit of knowing him and life in him is the difference maker, not just in the sweet by and by when we stand before the white, the white, red, white throne, but it is in this life, there are benefits for us now. Hey, listen, come on, man, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time today. I invite you to our first Saturday Connected Strength Virtual Forum, where we're going to be unpacking these same truths. We're going to be talking about life in Christ, the benefits of life in Christ, the difference maker for your life and mine. We need to know the benefits of life in Christ, that we might walk them out and live them, knowing that we get to have a great time and walk in victory and triumph in this world. And then get caught up and reign for him with him forever in his presence and in his kingdom eternally. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course right here on this Gospel Explosion of Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day. Knowing this, together, 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 y'all. We are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilized to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this spectacular Saturday, Pete. Let there be life. Yeah. And there will be in the morning. <laughs> 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 hey, we enjoyed it, Pastor. We had a great message this morning. Look forward to hearing another one in the morning with another Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir. Thank you for another Saturday in the house with good gospel music and encouraging words all day long. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. Will do, Pastor. Have a great one. Bye-bye. All right. Listen, again, uh, we just want you to, to know that uh, there are benefits of the life in and with Christ. Uh, that uh, to shape your every dimension of your life and being spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, socially. You know what Jesus said? He boiled it all down to this in St. John 10, 10. He said, the thief comes, but for to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that you might have life and that more abundantly. And so, friend, that's what it's about. He wants you to experience life by God's design in every aspect, aspect of your life and being spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, socially. So again, come on, man. We're going to unpack this at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you'll 
go to our connected church, uh, social media platforms, uh, Facebook, uh, uh, YouTube, Instagram, you'll see the opportunity to be able to come in and catch it. If you'd like to participate, but you don't have the information, just email us at info at connected-church.com. We'll be on promptly at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And the topic again is the benefits of life with Christ, the difference maker. Let me go ahead also and invite you in the Huntsville area to get connected and stay connected. 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, every single Sunday morning. We're at 5650 Sanderson Street, Suite R, the Connect Center, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805 for our Sunday morning fellowship, worship, and praise, prayer, time in the Word of God, and uh, in seeing His Word confirmed. We'd love to see you there. Gotta go. Until then, remember this always. <clears throat> God loves himself and you, we do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. Have a spectacular Saturday, a spectacular weekend. We'd love to see you later on today and to see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye for now.